So we're currently in the middle of the Nevada desert, about 10 miles south of Highway 50, and we took a four mile long unmarked dirt road to get to this spot. As you can see, it is quite desolate and there's nothing around for miles. But at this spot in 1963, they detonated a nuclear bomb underground because they wanted to test the effects of what a nuclear bomb would do in a geographically active area. In this video, we head to the Project Shoal Nuclear Test Site Monument in the Nevada desert right off of Highway 50, the Lincoln Highway, or the Loneliest Road. From Highway 50, you take Nevada State Highway 31 to the south before eventually turning onto this unmarked dirt road and heading about four miles into the Nevada desert. Eventually, you come to the Stone Project Shoal Monument. On October 26, 1963, a 12 kiloton nuclear device was placed about 1200 feet underground and detonated at this site. The idea was to test the nuclear device in a seismically active area so that they could learn to better differentiate between an earthquake and a nuclear test in the future. So this area about 30 miles east of Fallon, Nevada was chosen due to its relative desolation and the fact that it was very seismically active. Less than 10 years prior, a 7.3 earthquake its epicenter was just near here. Aside from the monument, there are a few other interesting things to be found at the site. There's also a few markings on the ground where it looks like they dug in to maybe test the radiation levels. This one looks like it was done in 1994. We also found this, what is listed as a gravity control mark. About a thousand feet or so south of the monument is this pipe that's locked up. I'm not really sure what it is or what it's for. It does have some markings on it, but I don't really know what that means myself. If anybody does know, uh, please let me know in the comments below. But as you can see, the lock is actually fairly, fairly new on it. So it is being uh, checked every once in a while at least. So we've gone about 25 miles east on Highway 50. And we're now at the Fairview Earthquake Faults. In 1954, there was a 7.3 magnitude earthquake about seven miles from here, uh, seven miles south of here. And during that earthquake, part of the ground rose about 20 feet. If you go down this dirt road, about four miles, there's a parking area where you can park and you can actually see some prominent faults. Uh, the road's a little bit rough for our rental car, so we're not going to be driving down it today. Um, but I'll show some pictures right here. But as you can see, this area is pretty seismically active, and which is why they wanted to detonate a nuclear device in the area. So that's our look at the uh, Project Shoal Monument and the Fairview Earthquake Faults, both easily accessible off of Highway 50, the loneliest road in America. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.